friends and family, I'd like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum based website. So, something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So, on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news, uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music and many many more um on black community speak it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship so make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today Family, Vicki Dillard here, your sister with the curly braids, here for another brief war briefing. On the agenda today, beloved, is our sister Monique. You all know the actress, comedian uh, Monique. Um, for the last several weeks, months, really, I think a couple of months, maybe now, she has been under fire, even if it's, I don't even know if it's been that long, but she's been under fire because she's been challenging sisters, in my opinion, in love uh, when they're going out in public not to look like they just rolled out of bed. Some folks, some sisters wearing their nightcap, their bonnets, their night bonnets. And then even some of them going out and about with their pajamas on. Somebody talked black to me. Well, in my opinion, surprisingly, surprisingly, she got a lot of unnecessary backlash. I was shocked by the backlash that she got because I grew up with, with, with grandmamas and mamas and, and granddaddies and, then, and daddies and stuff. Now, even though my parents weren't, you know, together, you know, for the long term as a child growing up, I was around feminine and masculine energy. I'm in my 40s and I was born and raised in Mississippi. I live in the wild, wild west right now, but talk black to me. So mamas and daddies talk black to me. They used to tell you stuff to do in public. There was codes of conduct, manners and stuff. Talk black to me. And more than just them telling you, they exemplify what you should look like and how you should behave, not only privately, but in public. So I was shocked by the extraordinary backlash that Monique got. Folks were treating Monique as if she was a Mazungu white supremacist. They was treating her like she was one of the ones that, 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 that breached the Capitol where people end up dying as a result and they threaten to murder the vice president and stop. Take a look at this latest picture that she just recently posted. Family. Do you, uh, do you, do, do you see what I see? <laughs> I know that's a Christmas song in Christianity. Do you see what I see? Talk black to me. Family, when I started to read some of the comments from celebrities, influencers, folks that I call the blue checkmark people, they were rebuking Monique. They were saying stuff like, listen to what this feminista lady said to Monique. She said, I have no idea what's going on in your life right now. She's talking to Monique, not the lady. Not about the lady. She's telling Monique. I don't know what's going on in your life right now, but I'm claiming deliverance because you're being hateful under the guise of toxic positivity and support. I'm so disappointed. I've been a huge defender of yours. This is fire. That's a blue check mark. Another blue check mark. My experience is, my experience is if someone seems to need help or guidance as a high profile page with a huge platform, just ask everyone to guide you to the woman. And then once you've contacted her, send her love, send her a care package, or maybe invite her to, to uh, into your space and help her. She goes on to say, we also just simply don't mind our business. That's what she tell the moment. That's what she tell the moment. Others telling Monique, Monique, this lady is minding her own business. Family, let me tell you something. This is how you, the white uh, supremacists done messed up your mind. When you look at this optic terrorist photo, 
When you look at this optic terrorist photo, you can clearly see that the last, come here, come here, come here. I brushed my teeth. I promise you, I brushed. Put some mouthwash and everything. Come here, come here. You can clearly see that the last thing this sister is doing is minding her own business. When you see luggage, luggage is usually a sign that you have other clothes. We know there's people that's professionals that travel with products and all kind of stuff. But a lot of times when you travel, because you can see that on both sides of her, she's got luggage and it's a matching copper set. It might be another pair of shorts, a skirt, probably even a robe. It shouldn't be out of the question to think while y'all sitting in the comment section talking about what well, she could have. Look, leave that lady alone. We, she was she able to afford to fly. That means you afford a $3 Chinese skirt. Don't like to me. Family, when Monique posted that, she said under that in the description, she started it by saying, hey, beautiful queens, no shaming. If this is the best we can do, no judgment do you. And it's all in caps, that part. This was sent to me as an example of what we're talking about that goes on in our community. However, if this is not your best, then do better. Being that ultimately the decision either way is yours, I love us for real. If you get upset with someone that tries to bring correction and encourages you to upgrade and to level up, baby, you are under the influence of our open enemy. And just so y'all know, BGR, the Black Grassroots, we're setting new standards. Now, I'm someone that has a medical that's medically considered to be medically disabled. There are special accommodations that I have to have because of my medical condition. I understand when I'm going out in public, especially if I have my curlers on, I do not want to look, look crazy. If I'm trying to do a little five, 10, 20 minutes walk or something, there are cuter, more appropriate bonnets, that, if you want to call it that, that you can get that's cute and appropriate for the public. But when you match a, a shower cap bonnet, this lady don't even have no bonnet on. That's a whole shower cap, almost a trash bag. And you got confusing draws. I don't even want to call them the feminine term for women because it, it don't even look like that word. It just looked like draws. <laughs> I don't know if you call that shorts or whatever. That black thing she had on the top, could you pull it down? Son? Could you act like you went swimming and then come with a towel tied around your waist? That thing on the head looks like a raggedy, subpar shower cap trash bag. Family, everything is spiritual and it's metaphysical. Monique said no shaming. That speaks to sometimes what's going on on the inside of you. And yes, even in this white supremacist world, even your clothes can be uh, 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 weaponized. I've always asked the question, what's the difference between a costume and a uniform? A uniform represents who you were part of. A uniform, if properly done, represents pride. It's something that happens to you on a, on a, a subconscious and unseen level that either promotes well-being or it takes away from one's pride. We are the ones that civilized the world. Everybody came through us. We set the standard high. This ain't just about how white people see us. This is about how we see ourselves. What if you didn't have any standards for a cardiologist or a heart surgeon that says they're getting ready to do some surgery on you, but their license has been revoked in five states and they're really not supposed to be practicing and they haven't done a surgery in 35 years by the time they see you? Do standards matter then? Do you want the sun to have standards? Do you want the moon to have standards? Do you want there to be certain uh, uh, a certain speed limit? You sound ridiculous. And I'm here to expose it. Yes, do the best that you can do. There was a time when the only thing I was able to do is shop secondhand. There was a time that the only way I could get my hair done was, was inexpensive products. 
And I'm not trying to pretend like I'm ultra rich and this, that, and the third, but I do the best that I can. There was a time I had a certain equipment that I used. But thank God I was able to save and level up. You do what you can, the best you can. And Monique said the same, but you all know darn well, except for those that may be living on the streets, that ain't the best you can do under no circumstance, Harley. You had luggage. And I'm not bound to believe that that luggage is because it was full of makeup because you're a makeup artist. Or you sell Tupperware. I'm not believing that there was Tupperware in those bags. I'm believing it was about to be some clothes in one of them, a piece of the luggage. Everything means something. And we as magical alchemists, we give meaning to everything. So we're going to level up. And if you don't like it, you can go sit your funny looking self down. But don't ever forget that we're the ones that civilized the world. During the dark ages, it wasn't black folks that was needing civilization. We came to bless and help Europe. We came to introduce them to soap and water. Culture. Fire to cook your food. Books. Libraries. And we're setting the new standard today. Talk black to me because there's a new world that's coming. Highly civilized people. My name is Vicki Dillard. Make sure that you sign up for my weekly mastermind at clubvicki.com for only $1, clubvicki.com. Let me tell you something. If you feel like that you're doing everything right and you feel stuck, I can help you. If you're saying to yourself, there's got to be more to life and you're looking for more meaning and purpose, I can help you. If you are saying, I want a supernatural, miraculous life. I want to see beyond sight. Everything I do, I want it to have great purpose. I don't want to just do the mundane Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, uh, working, 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 getting up, taking a bath. Hopefully you're doing that. Uh, doing the same thing, getting a check, paying bills, going to bed, getting up, eating, paying bills, taking a shower. It's more to life than that. If that's what you're looking for. I can help you. Join clubvicky.com today. Club V-I-C-K-I for only $1 for the first 30 days. Your life will never be the same. I also want to see you on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard and Twitter at Dillard Vicky. Are you looking for quality education for black children, but just don't know where to turn? No problem. We got you. At Aquarius School for Kids, we believe that our children are our most valuable investment. At Aquarius School for Kids, we create, develop, and provide educational products that put our African history, legacy, and culture at the forefront of our children's learning experience. So where do you begin? Well, our book, Before I Let You Go, I'm Gonna Teach You Myself, Seven Tips for Bringing Out the Reader and Your Black Child, is a great place to start. Then, get the Companion Handwriting Practice Workbook for your child's letter and sound recognition needs. Purchase both online and save. Need a little bit more? Then our African-centered kindergarten curriculum is for you. Go to www.AquariusSchoolForKids.com to find out more. Yes, we got you. Aquarius School for Kids, an oasis of early learning with the African child in mind. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.